Six years uh, has passed, and you may ask, uh, how about it now? Uh, I think it, it's growing is everywhere. It's, uh, everything is good well. So now it is uh, very, very near to its birthday. In next year, someday in summer, maybe it will open to the public. Uh, first, of all, please allow me to show a, a very brief story of this term. And uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, we have, we, have, we as a Shanghainese, we have dreamed to have our planetarium uh, for more than 40 years, but we have lost many opportunities in the, in the history. And uh, 10 years ago, uh, a very famous uh, Chinese astronomer named Ye Suhua, and she had suggested the Shanghai planetarium project to the government. And this time, he, uh, she, she got the government's uh, approval. And the government uh, entrusted the Shanghai Science and Technology Museum, that's named uh, SSTM, to take charge in such a great uh, construction task. And then SHP will serve as a new branch of SSTM. So here I will show some basic of this planetarium. Uh, first is about its location. Uh, it's located in the southeast in Shanghai. Here you can see the, the whole Shanghai, and here in the city center. And here we call the Putong district. And uh, here is our uh, our area named the Ningang, new city. And it is a very special area of Shanghai free trade zone. And uh, we, the total area of this uh, museum uh, is uh, 58,000 square meters. And the constructing area is 38,000 a thousand square meters. And just from this data, you can see in this planetarium will be one of the biggest one in the, in the, in the world. And we have a very big uh, building and we have also have two observatories and very beautiful astronomy garden. Uh, just last year, we have decided to change our name from Shanghai Planetarium to Shanghai Astronomy Museum. Here, I will say, Say our reason why we are changing the name, um, because we we, we think uh, it's re related to our understanding of the, the meaning of planetarium. I think the planetarium has two meanings. One meaning refers to a projector system to mimic the really uh, real steady sky, no matter optical or digital. And the other meaning is refer to the an educational venue, which a planetarium system will take the leading role. But in these years, we have seen many newly, uh, many renewed planetarium in these 20 years, just like uh, Greenface or uh, Adler and others. They are all greatly enlarged in the exhibition area. And in this new design, planetarium or dome theater is no longer in the center of the venue. Um, for our planetarium, also, uh, we'll have a very large exhibition and as large as uh, 15,000 square meters. So we think it deserves to, to give it a new name. So we decided now to call it Shanghai Astronomy Museum, not just a planetarium. Uh, you can here see the whole structure of our museum. Uh, totally, it has, has three floors. And the main exhibition area occupy the, the whole second floor and some of the first floor. And we have set up two planetarium. One is optical one, and the, the other is digital, uh, Tom Theater. The Tom Theater is an individual uh, arch architecture structure. And the optical uh, planetarium is just in the, the main exhibition area. I think these two planetarium is, is different uh, because for the Tom Theater, we have only some of the visitors can go to the theater to see the film because they have to, to buy another ticket. But uh, the, for the, the optical one, because it is just in the exhibition area, so every visitor can, can go to the planetarium to see the, the steady sky. I think that is the main purpose way, way to, to build our planetarium. So I hear I will emphasize that the, the optical planetarium will be very important and should not be ignored. And here I say something about the architecture design. Uh, this very beautiful building is designed by an American company named Iliad. And then the designer uh, used the three very important astronomy concept. One is called gravity and orbit. So we can see many, many spiral structures. 
And he, the other concept is for the three body pro program. And the third, they, they said it's a time machine. Now the, the building has been uh, finished. We, we, we can see here, and uh, this, this is a real photo. It's just almost the same as the, the design one. You can see here's the design and here's the real photo. It's almost a duplication. And I will show more uh, real architecture photos here. Here we call it the inverted dome. It's, a, it's just in the middle of the, the museum. And the designer said it's gotten this idea from the Roman passion. And he said, uh, this is also the place we can talk to the heaven. This is the designers told us. And uh, here's the second one we call the dome theater. Its diameter is 23 meters. This is a whole sphere. So if you uh, look from the far side, you can see a, 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 a floating earth there. It's a very amazing very thing here. And also in every year, summer solstice, you can see a very big night circle in the ground. And this night circle will, will move uh, as the time pass. So it serves as a time machine. And the third one we call in the oculus. Actually, it is a, a very big hole in the building. So it is also in the entrance of our museum. And it, every day, it can show a very beautiful magic effect. And uh, this structure is also uh, serve as a time machine because uh, as the sunshine come down from the, the, the hole, the, they, they, they form a, a light spot and this spot will, will move as the time passed. And uh, at the, uh, in the summer solstice, the, the, the night spot will coincide with this black circle. And here is the bird's view of our museum and uh, a very, very big man-made lake, named the Disney Lake. So it's a very beautiful scene if you look from the airplane. Uh, at the, in the last part, I will say something about our uh, main exhibition area design. We, and the, the main exhibition area consists of three parts, three big parts. Uh, one we call it home, and the other is Cosmos, and then the Odyssey. The first part we call it home. Uh, here we will say something about our sun, our moon, our earth, and our the solar system and our galaxy. So in the end of this, this part, we are, here is a very big giant screen to, to show the image of the Milky Way galaxy. And in the first part of this area, there's our optical planetarium. So every visitor can come to the, our exhibition area to see this uh, the, uh, uh, the simulation of our, our, our real and uh, stage sky. And the second uh, part is we call the cosmos. And here we will say something about the universal rules. Uh, we will have said many in the astronomy concept, just like in the space time, the gravity, the night, the elements, and we search for life in the universe. And the third one we call the Odyssey. Actually, it's a story of human exploring. Uh, we'll tell something, uh, some history of astronomy, or, uh, the history of space exploring, and also we set up a digital astronomy laboratory. And we also have other uh, exhibition areas. One is for Chinese astronomy, from the ancient one to the, to the modern uh, Chinese astronomy. And we also have a special area for the children playing. And in two observatories, uh, we'll uh, have some information for telescope and how to observe. And we also have a temporary exhibition area. Here, I will show some uh, photos of the, our progress of exhibition construction. Uh, these photos are just taken uh, one week ago. So you can see the, the construction is just in the, the progress. And here is the, the home area. You can see here, this structure is our optical planetarium. And from inside is the planetarium and from outside, we can see, use it as a, a very huge earth. Oh, and this is the, the last page. Uh, here, I will express my gratitude uh, to many uh, planetariums and uh, astronomers. They all provide us many, many good helps. And many planetariums also came to Shanghai to discuss with us. And maybe I, I believe that many of them uh, now is also the, the, the listener of this report. So I, I thank you very much. And 
the museum is 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 planning to open next year in July the 2021. So welcome everyone to Shanghai to see our new museum, new Pentarium. Uh, if you come to Shanghai, please don't hesitate to contact with me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for that great presentation. That looks like an amazing venue that's going to be open there. And actually, I did visit uh, Shanghai in 2009 for the solar eclipse, and I didn't see the eclipse. Really? And I was early <laughs> by by 12 years, so I couldn't see the planetarium. But um, it's really going to be worth a visit, I'm sure. And there were many in the chat who already asked if this couldn't be the site of a future IPS conference, perhaps. Yes, yes, I think so. I think so. Yes. <laughs> and and I'm sure that would be interesting. Um, Thank you. There were there were two two more questions. Um, mm -hmm. um, Dario Tiveron asked what you expect, how many visitors per year you would expect. Have you have projections, uh, expectations for the number of visitors per year? How many visitors? Uh, we we hope we can uh, uh, hold up about one million per per year. One million. Yeah, that's great. Okay. And another question by Jim Todd was. Um, how many people will, how many staff you will have or plan to have? How many people will work at the institution? How many staffs? Maybe 100 or 120, and then the formal one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great, that's great. Are there any, any additional questions? So I really love the architecture and, and the way, not just the exhibition and the planetarium, which is great, but, but the architecture as well is, so amazing. So I really look forward to, to one day. Welcome. I hope, we, welcome. I hope we, we will all be able to travel again soon. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe not next year for the opening, but maybe soon thereafter. That would be really Oh, of course. You can find me. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, uh, one question. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Lynn. Uh, can you talk about the opening shows or what will be presented in the dome? Live presentations? Uh, uh, will you produce shows? Oh, yeah. Um, Actually, uh, sorry to interrupt. Jenny is just asking the same in the chat. What type of shows are you planning to run? Entertainment shows, education shows, or both? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I, I, oh, sorry. I don't understand what's, what's, okay, what's um, your meaning. The question was what type of presentations there will be in the planetarium, if it will be um, especially about astronomy, education, or also entertainment shows, perhaps. Of course, ed education. Of course, education. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. So, so do you have any specific plans to the type of shows, uh, the, the, the variety, the, the amount of different shows, maybe? Some type? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so I mean, the question, I guess, was, was, is, is it, is it, education or also shows just for entertainment also shows, um, music yes or... yes yes okay. and education is the, the taking the leading role and also have some entertainment yes mm -hmm. do you plan those to be also live presentation live presented shows yeah, yeah yes yes okay. yes 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 we have we will okay um this is great 